Game Masters here with this week's News in Gaming. Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022. While we can't possibly cover all aspects of gaming news, these are a few things that we found particularly interesting. And to start off with our headline news for today, on the evening of Friday, January 7th, 2022, a signed beta Black Lotus was stolen from Finch and Sparrow Games, a local game store in Signal Hill, California. Finch and Sparrow Games asks that if anyone sees the card pop up on a trade group or auction site, or recognizes the individual to please contact them at 562-249-8172. Last week at the Consumer Electronics Show, Sony announced a new virtual reality controller called the PlayStation VR 2. It includes 4K HDR resolution and OLED display, eye tracking technology, and head tracking. While this VR is boasting to be pretty cool, it won't mean much if players cannot find the PlayStation 5 to purchase. The Razer Zephyr Pro is due out this year, a wearable mask which is an upgrade from Razer's Zephyr. This is, of course, a smart mask that filters the air using N95 filters. One thing that we have learned is that the CDC does not include the Razer's product on its approved N95 list. Evidently, the filters used in this are slightly undersized, which causes air to leak in, going against Razer's promise that the mask has a tight seal. And Razer does cite that the Zephyr and Zephyr Pro masks are not medical devices, respirators, surgical masks, or personal protection equipment, and are not meant to be used in medical or clinical settings. And while Razer has filed the Zephyr with the FDA, the FDA has yet to give it approval. It is a heavily cyberpunk themed mask with RGB lighting, but the pro version also amplifies your voice by up to 60 decibels. One thing is for sure, you will be noticed when you wear this in public. Effective January 13th, just a few days from now, Microsoft and 343 Industries will be shutting down a few Halo Xbox 360 servers. While you will still be able to play the games in single player mode, Online multiplayer servers for Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, and Halo Reach will be shut down. In CCG news, if you live in Taiwan or keep an eagle eye out on eBay, KFC and Pokemon are teaming up. Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pokemon are teaming up in a promotion for a limited time from January 11th until February 28th in all of the KFC Taiwan locations, if you purchase a chicken with golden seafood and rich cheese meal, you get one of three collectible KFC stamped Rowlet, Cyndaquil, or Oshawott cards. In tabletop role-playing news, heavy speculation is being talked about in subreddits and in hushed whispers behind closed doors and over the water cooler at work that Wizards of the Coast will be releasing a 5th edition version for Spelljammer. With sources citing that unearthed arcana playtest material, Travelers of the Multiverse, as it contains a few of the creature types from the Spelljammer setting. Speaking of Wizards of the Coast, back in December, Hasbro's CEO Brian Goldner passed away as what some speculate to have been cancer. This week, Hasbro has tapped Wizards of the Coast's president, Chris Cox, to take over as Hasbro's CEO on February 25th. No one has been announced as taking over the president's position at Wizards as of yet. However, Hasbro did say that they expect to name a new president for Wizards of the Coast in the coming weeks. Now over to Zombie Mall for sports. Thank you, Zombie Mall here. As you are aware, a few years ago, the Thulbanian Games opened up to team competitions, and tonight we'll see a grand square off between the Belur Bronze and the currently undefeated Nonthal Hounds in the ever popular Goats Ball. These two teams have clashed head to head as rivals repeatedly over the years, but this will be their first game facing each other this season. The Hounds are being covered as an 8.5 favorite. Against the Bronze, the over-under is 55.5 points. Back to you, Game Masters. Thank you, Zombie Mall. And now we go to Brian for the weather. Weather in Waterdeep today will see a high of 25 degrees with a low of 10. No precipitation is on the radar for the next 24 hours. However, 
We are seeing significant parts of the harbor freezing along with a bit of wind blowing in from the Sea of Swords with gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. That's all we have for news today. If there is something newsworthy you would like to discuss, please leave a comment below. And until next our paths cross, may your rowlet not get covered in greasy chicken.